Hello everyone, we're down here in my garage again, I'm just going to turn you around and we're going to get the cyclocross bike down, we're going to take the chain off, we're going to change the chain, do a few other little bits and pieces, so first of all I'm just going to turn you around and show you where the bikes are. So there's the cyclocross bike up there, it's a Scott CX Cross or Cross CX Comp. I've had it quite a long time. Trivative cranks at the front, nine speed. Um, this one's got Shimano Ultegro, Ultegro wheels on it. It's got Richie tyre on the front at the moment, and that's a uh, that's a Vittoria on the back at the minute. And then here is my Doors Galaxy. Battery's going to go flat on this camera as well. Tires hung up behind. There's my swimming weights from when I used to swim. My dad made those when I was a kid. And I used to use those in my dad's garage. And then we've got tires down here hanging on the back of the lawnmower. That's a Ritchie road tire. That's a Gator skin. Michelin Mud 2s, they're really good. These are really good as well. These are Clements. These are brilliant. Anyway, we'll get that down. Oh, in the back as well there we've got a tailboard that I used to use on the back of my Range Rover when I had my Range Rover. That's the old number plate that was on the Range Rover that came with it. Um, so we'll get that down, we'll put it in the stand and we'll start working. There's my turbo bike at the minute, it's not on the turbo, it's there at the minute. And then my winter bike. Under there we've got roof box, bike stand, old saddle bits and pieces that I need to sell across the top of there and down here we've got bike frame that I need to sell there's my old back wheel compressor right so let's get you set up and we'll get this down take the mud guards off Splitting tool, turn break, chain breaking tool because this is a Shimano chain, I can break it anywhere, it doesn't matter, it's only going to get thrown away. That and also put that back in the tow box. Put the gloves on in case this oil is chain. This chain is oily. There we go. That's still okay. Scrap metal thing. Half three wheels stiff. They're okay. What do these work like? That one's okay. Okay. That cable's got some kinks in it, but it's all right. Brakes. That's a bit stiff. That always is that one. That's okay. Yep. Let's put the new chain on. Chain. Where's the camera gone? Here. Chain. Sorry about the lighting in here, rubbish in here. This is the bit I need to get you guys going and change in here. Right. 
Okay. Got the factory grease on here. Give it cleaning this. I need my chain tool again. Four complete links. One, two, three, four. Break it there. the extra bit of work it's useless. And then we've got, as I said, here's the old, it's not an old, it's a brand new split link that's not been used that I used to carry around in my tool, in my tool bag, like my emergency stuff. It's a nine speed gold coloured it's just nine speed, so that'll do. Yep, it's nine. Drop that back on there again because that makes it easier. Just need to pull that together to lock it. I'll just check that.
Yeah, that's fine. Right, next job. Change this back tire. Just put the tires up. puncture in here. So these Richie tyres are the ones that came with it and these are Excavator 35C. Right we've got to get that out of there because that tube is punctured. Tire levers opposite the valve one Get it the right way up. Two. Three. These are really easy, these ones. Whip it round. Hold that off. We've just got the wheel, nothing on it, tube, and tyre. These are not tubeless. Yeah, where's that puncture? That's been repaired. So I'm going to change the tyre while I'm at it. So I'm putting on a Michelin Mud 2. These are pretty good, these in the mud. And these, I used to race on these. 30C, these are. So they're a little bit narrower. Now, where have I put the wheel? Here it is. Make sure there's nothing in the tire first. And let it work. Different tube, it's a spare tube. Put that over. Find the valve hole. Take the valve cover off. Drop it in. I'm going to try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. Rest it on the saddle. I'm going to have to move you, I think, so you can see better. Just come through here so you can see me here. So, balance the wheel, stick the valve in, drop the tube in, run it round. Drop it into the tyre. Then I just run around and pull the tyre so that you're making sure the 
tube is down into the well that's got stuck on the saddle. There we are. Then starting at the valve, go around, whip it on with the palm of your hand like this, over, working towards you, then flip it round so it's away from you. And again, just making sure it's in, and you can see just in the tough bit, just use the palm of your hand, rolling it over like that. That's it, done, in, get the pump, pump it up. The problem with this one is, because I'm using the Canon, because the other one's charging up, I can't see the screenshot. I can't see whether I've got you lined up or not. So I've only got in there 40 psi, not a lot, that's too hard, that's 45, but I can always let it let it out, that's fine, valve core, valve cap rather. And I've just got to swap the tire on the back one so it's the same tire. Let's make sure this will pump up first. Right, so let's get this the right way around. Rotation we're looking for. The, the, do it the other way around, do it that way. That's my wife back. So I'll have to go in, in a minute. Yeah, I've got the right rib. Flip that on. Drop that tube in. Valve hole there. Down on the floor. Drop the tube in. Tuck it under. Start at the valve hole, work then. Right, let's get done, pump it up. Right, let's drop the sides. Both wheel releases and make sure the wheels are square. It's okay, that wheel is too far down, and the hub's all sticky. That lever needs moving. Right. Time to go in. See you later. More later.